Hey guys, hope you're all doing well. Today I am out on my Tiger Sport 660 and I'm heading over to the Triumph dealer to see if I can have a quick shifter installed. Now the quick shifter is one of those things that when I looked at the parts list of this bike before even taking it for a test ride, I knew that would be something I'd be interested in. And after taking it for a test ride and and then owning it for a couple months now, um, I can definitely see the benefit of having one of those installed. Um, the bike shifts great. I don't want to take anything away from it in that regard. It, it is a, a beautiful transmission on this bike, but I just think um, because the gears are so short, um, I notice that especially for like around town riding that I'm just rolling through those gears really quick and to have a quick shifter on here would be a really big help, I think. Unfortunately, the install itself, I'm not going to be able to record. And uh, I really wanted to install the quick shifter myself. But the problem with that is that the, the dealer has to activate it. They have to hook up to the computer and activate the quick shifter on here. So it's not like, um, you know, I mean, I could have installed it in my garage and then brought it to the dealer and had them activate it, but there's still labor involved. And I was told that there is also a setup process involved with this too. They have to take it out on a five mile ride and calibrate it. Um, you know, maybe some of you guys are more familiar with that process and I'd like to get some more information on it if possible. I'm definitely going to ask them at the dealership and I will let you know if I find anything out. But uh, if you have any knowledge about that, please let me know in the comments. But since I had to bring it to the dealer anyway, I figured I would just have them do the complete install. And that way, if anything goes wrong with it, it, it's under full warranty and they know what they've done and, and hopefully they can fix it. So I am taking it to the dealer, having them do the entire job. So if you're new to the channel, I'm going to give you a little bit of, of bike history. Um, my last bike was a 2021 Honda NC750X uh, DCT model, which is their dual clutch transmission. So I went about 10 months without having to uh, needing to shift a bike. So that was a big transition, um, you know, coming from that bike over to this one where I actually have to shift gears again. So <laughs> having a, a quick shifter installed on here is kind of going to bridge the gap a little bit, I think. And prior to the Honda, I had a bunch of Harleys. I, I had a couple Sportsters and then uh, most recently I had a Harley Street Bob, a 2020 Street Bob. And prior to that, I had a 2019 Lowrider. So, um, you know, definitely different types of bikes and uh, totally different transmission feel on those bikes as well. So I've had a pretty good mixture so far. So real quick, this is what the existing shift linkage looks like on the bike. And then I will show you what the new one looks like as soon as it gets installed. So I will cut now and be back with you in just a little bit. Well, I'm back. The shift assist has been installed and wow, it looks pretty cool. Supposedly this is calibrated already. They took it for a test ride said it's all good but uh, I was told that it's going to continue to calibrate itself for a little while so I don't know exactly how that works but uh, yeah <laughs> that's what I was told so let's uh, I'm gonna jump on the bike and see how this feels 
Yeah, it doesn't look like there's any kind of indicators in the menu to like activate or deactivate the uh, shift assist. So I think once it's on, it's on here. If I don't want to use it, I just uh, hit the clutch instead of the quick shifter. So yeah, let's test it out. Well, shifting into first definitely has a different feel than it did before. I think now that this thing is on here, I'm going to have to make more deliberate shifts on here on the shifter peg. And a red light. Yeah, definitely have to be a lot more deliberate on the shifter peg. And, uh, you know, for those of you guys that are used to these things, um, this might not be any news to you, but since this is the first time I've ever used a quick shifter, I noticed that if I put my toe under the shifter and kind of get ready for the shift um, it seems a lot easier like I put a little bit of a pressure on it and then um, when I do initiate it it just uh, it shifts a lot smoother that way yeah that was pretty smooth Yes, I am definitely liking this. You know, it would be so awesome if Triumph included the shift assist stock on this bike. But I know they have to meet a price point and that probably would take them a little bit out of their range, but wow, what a difference. Yeah, this seems pretty smooth, guys. Now, the guy at the Triumph dealership told me that uh, this definitely is going to um, smooth out a little bit more as I use it. So I will give um, kind of a, a longer term update after I've used this for a little while. But so far, so good. Highly recommend the Triumph Shift Assist.
And I did ask the question about, you know, like if I ever get any false neutrals or anything like that, um, if I should just go in and kick the shifter or if I should clutch it. And um, he recommended using the clutch at that point just to be safe. So if any guys have any experience on that one, let me know as well. I am definitely going to have to be careful not to be speeding too much on this bike because it just makes you want to go fast now. Very smooth. Anyway guys, I'm going to test this on the freeway a little bit on the way home, but uh, I appreciate you coming along with me on this little install. I appreciate you watching. If you like the video, click that like button and I will catch you guys on the next one.